Hello everyone, my name is Yuri Blendanime, and welcome back. So, uh, real quick before we get started, I just want to apologize for the lateness of this video. Uh, it is finals week now in school, and the last one I made was right before we went on um, Thanksgiving break. And as soon as I came back from Thanksgiving break, it's been very hectic for me. So, I'm going to try to squeeze these in to my time schedule because I have I have a lot of assignments I have to do and I actually just finished taking two math tests <laughs> so you'll have to forgive me I, I know you guys would like the videos you know quickly and I apologize for that it's just life that's all I can tell you anyway uh, but if you aren't upset about that then we can get started so <laughs> we're gonna make this scarf so what we're gonna do is What we can do is we can just select all these. Um, and why don't we do that? I'm actually going to uh, I'm going to put some more edge loops in here because this is kind of uh, an important area that should be pretty well, you know, not not super defined, but it should definitely have more shape than it does. Yeah, there should definitely be some more shape to this. Now we're not gonna have to. We're not gonna give him chest muscles. You can if you want to, but he has a suit on, so we're just gonna, you know, assume that they're behind there. All right, I'm gonna select these faces, and we're gonna just. Uh, smooth those uh, again um, if you don't remember from my previous videos I I have the keyboard shortcut set as Q or alt Q for smooth um, and you can just right click on it change keyboard shortcut and type alt sm and alt Q and then it'll that'll be your keyboard shortcut but that's just me you don't have to make that your smooth shortcut it just helps when you know you like it, it it helps to not have to bring up the menu and keep you know clicking back and forth smooth 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 you know to just change it to a uh, keyboard shortcut so but make sure when you do change it to a keyboard shortcut make sure that it's not a currently mapped shortcut uh, because that can that can kind of mess up some things in blender and you don't want to do that so just be mindful of that but you can totally go on ahead and change that so now we're going to do before. We're going to select all of these here and we're going to shift D to duplicate those, P separate by selection. <clears throat> we have this here, all right, and so now we're just going to shape this into the form of the scarf. So I'm going to turn on this magnet here and I'm going to change this to face, select those two, and I'm just going to move that down there. I'm just going to move these. So basically what I'm doing, these are the tools that you use for retopology. However, uh, we're using them here to make uh, constructing the scarf a bit easier on ourselves. <clears throat> yeah, because that's the big part. So this part up here is going to kind of scrunch in here. Because this is going to lead into the knot, and so we want this to be a bit smaller than the other, or the front part. <clears throat> yeah, we don't want that like draping all the way back there. Whoopsie daisy. Grab that again. I was going to Alt H. Uh, oh, oh, okay. So that happened. So there's a hole here that I did not see, and that's okay. And, uh, yeah, um, let's see here. Do we need this? Do we need this? That is a question. What we're going to do is we're going to hide the shoulder armor for now <clears throat> so that we can see what's going on over here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is... Okay, so these are going that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete these 
faces that we made earlier. And I'm going to <coughs> select both of these, dissolve edges, and yeah, we're going to dissolve these edges too because we're just going to smooth that, or not smooth that, but merge that in the center. So now that uh, that's there, that's better. That's better, that's better. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Because now it's more cohesive. So, uh, I'm going to add an edge loop here, boom, and add an edge loop here, boom, and bring that up there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that these these back here kind of again come like into each other because we're going to turn these options off and make sure we're on vertex <coughs> we're just going to alt s <coughs> to scale that okay now what you can do is look in the side view here and just start shaping uh, the vertices there uh, and then we can kind of bring this all around like so And we're going to add another edge loop in here just so that we can kind of bring this up. Now keep in mind that if you if you leave if you if you, you don't necessarily have to add the edge loops where I'm adding them because <coughs> when you <coughs> tab in the edit mo or object mode here, it it kind of smooths over those. So you you really don't necessarily have to. I'm just doing it <sighs> just for my own visual sake. Um like, you know, if you were to, if you if you maneuvered this a certain kind of way, this could actually just fold over here without that. Um, but I, I just this is the thing I like to do, just to help you know keep my stuff uh, organized. Not necessarily a thing that you 100% have to do. That's just a thing that I do. Add sliding these back because I want to give <clears throat> I want to give these kind of equal spacing. I don't want them too crunched up. Okay. <clears throat> Got one more edge loop in here, and that's going to be fine because we're going to add a crap load more of edge loops very soon. Uh. No one cares. Anyway. Alright. So. I'm going to add an edge loop here. And we're going to bring that out. So. <clears throat> instead of adding a bunch of edge loops at the same time. What we're going to do is we're going to go. One by one. And make the folds. Properly. Yes, indeed. Okay. And you can select all of these here and bring those out. All right. So we got the one crease going down here. So then we can get this vertice here. Move that back. Maybe move these side ones back too. And <clears throat> another thing is we can alt s that in a little bit and bevel it. And we could probably extrude down in here. Uh but what what we just did is kind of the equivalent of that, so 
also keep that in mind. You don't necessarily have to, but a lot of things, a lot of a lot of modeling is just choice. You don't really have one hundred percent need to do the things that I am doing to get my result, because there is way more than one way <coughs> to skin a cat. Now you got knives, razors, all kind of all kinds of deadly weapons available to you to skin the crap out of that cat. And uh, that may sound like I hate cats, but I don't hate them. I just think that they're useless creatures. But anyway, <coughs> that's neither here nor there. What is here now is this model. And so you know, there's not really a lot of technique going on right now. I'm just uh, you know moving the edges or vertices to where I think they should go. Um, that looks about right. So we'll add this loop in there. Okay. And then we'll add that. Okay. <clears throat> so for these, in the E to extrude, make sure proportional editing is off. We're going to scale those in, E to extrude those down. <coughs> Scale those in, and we're going to extrude them back up. Scale those in, E, scale, E, G, Z. Move those down, scale them in, E, Z, up again. <coughs> and you see what I'm doing here. I'm just creating layers and layers and layers just so that uh, it looks, you know, like it is. Just, just something folding in there. Uh, and this will be the last one. This will be the last layer that we make. And we're going to extrude that one more time and bring that in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make make sure that it's all the way down here because, and this is a trick that some game uh, modelers use. <clears throat> you can really just Alt-M, center there, bam. So now uh, you can't tell that it's a separate you know, it, it uh, doesn't really have a bottom, uh, which is cool. Uh, so, <coughs> turn proportional editing back on. I'm sorry I'm clearing my throat a lot. I, uh, it's allergy season and whatnot. Making a lot of apologies, but, uh, well, I mean, it's what it is, man. It's what it is. What it is, what it is, what it is. Okay, so we have a problem here. So these two vertices somehow, oh wait, no, they're not merged. Then what in blue blazes? Okay, turn off proportional editing and uh, set off. Thank you. Ah, how many vertices are there? Holy crap. <laughs> There's a lot of vertices in that one point. <clears throat> so be mindful of that. Make sure you don't have doubles because doubles can... Uh, well, uh, for lack of a better term, F your S up. <laughs> uh, made myself laugh. Anyway, so I'm just going to extrude, not extrude, but, you know, scale that out, too, just to give it some form. And now, we're going to add the wrinkles that are coming from here to the back, because this back part is, uh, you know, extremely wrinkled. So you just add edge loops and whatnot, just add a few edge loops here and there. Okay. And, you know, don't worry about that. It actually helped it look better, in my opinion. Um, you know, maybe we could probably smooth some of these out here. But, really, that's all we need. Because, <coughs> we're going to come to the back here. And, I'm going to grab, whoops, I'm going to grab these here. Boom, boom, boom. And I think that's going to be good. And just Alt-S, scale those in. And Alt-S, scale these out. Scale these in again. And scale them out. Okay, so you, you just you want to get these wrinkles <coughs> in the back there. And 
Now starts the process of just easing the transition of the wrinkles. So you can move some of these vertices out a little bit, but and make sure it's a gradual kind of thing going on there. <laughs> a gradual kind of thing going on there. Yes, that's very, very descriptive, Darius. You have achieved the epitome of lecture status with your descriptors. Okay, all right. And then, what is with these? I don't like the fact that they're so close all the time. Anyway, so now we're going to grab that, hit Z, and we're going to scale those. We're going to just up our proportional editing influence because we want to scale a lot of it down like that, and then we're going to move it on the Z. And move that up. All right, now, for this stuff in the back here. Just move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. And you could probably move it up just to help capture the form. And make sure you're on the regular proportional editing for this. Because uh, that'll, that'll make your life a bit easier. Yeah, it's very good indeed. Okay. And let's just, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. Can't really add an edge loop in there now, can you? Uh, this one I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna delete that vertice, <coughs> and I'm just gonna extrude down and scale in. Why? Because it's it, we're achieving the same effect. You still can't see, or you still can't really tell that there's something in there. Okay, and we're gonna bring that in there. We're gonna scale that inward. Okay, good. All right. So that's pretty much the scarf. <coughs> uh, you can do some more to shape it up if you want, but that we're we're gonna call the scarf done. Uh, I'm a bit. I'm recording for 17 minutes, so yeah, that is the scarf. It took me 17 minutes to do that. I have to work on my time anyway. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, in the next part, we're gonna make the 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 uh, what is that? The knot back here. And we might do his hair. Um, so yeah. Hope you all enjoy. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a good one.